Excellency Li Yongpo Yesse Penchu, Honorable Minister of Agriculture, Forest of Bhutan. Excellency Ku Dong Yu, Director General of FAO. Excellency Chung Jin Kim, Assistant Director General and Regional Representative of FAO. Excellency Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, Member of the Conference. On behalf of the Royal Government of Cambodia and the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fishery, I would like to sincere thank FAO for our excellent partnership and the support of to Cambodia and the MAF. It is a good time to draw our attention to the decade of action which call for accelerating sustainable solutions for improved result delivery and to address the global crisis of COVID-19. To address climate change, food insecurity, and demand shock, and remove the disruption of the food supply and demand chain. We all know too well that what we have to achieve, but we need our spirit of solidarity, commitment, and unity to achieve the 2030 Sustainable Development Goal. Cambodia has already aligned national agricultural policy and strategy toward the 2030 Sustainable Development Goal. The Royal Government of Cambodia's long-term vision is to transform Cambodia in order to become an upper middle income country by 2030 and high income country by 2050. To achieve this vision, the MAF have established six important strategic objectives and started in the agricultural development policy 2021-2030 and its actionable, actionable agricultural strategic master plan 2030. First, the first is the in, to enhance the completeness of the agricultural value chain. The ministry, in close cooperation with FAO and development partner, with focus on productivity enhancement and profit generation in the value chain of rice, seasonable crop, rubber, and other agro-industrial crop, fishery, and livestock. Second. The next 10 years, we will also strengthen the supporting infrastructure and increase trade facilitation effect in agriculture. To meet this aim, we concentrate on irrigation system, rural farm, road, electricity price reduction for enterprises and agricultural community. The promotion of e-agriculture and use of digital platform in production and trade facilitation. Third, we will also promote sustainable land, forestry and fishery resources management in environmentally and socio-economically sound way. Fourth, institutional and human capacity development are central for achievement of our strategic objective. Fifth, in addition, we are now faced with the challenges and disruption that COVID-19 crisis brought to our country, to the region and to the world. Why countries have been hit differently? We can only jointly solve the hardship together for our people, particularly our smallholder farmer and the agribusinesses. Well targeted, Emergency relief has to go hand in hand with coherent support to keep the vital agricultural trade for flowing. This crisis has emphasized the need for regional and international cooperation to strengthen our agriculture and food system. Last but not least, partnership, coordination, and active participation from all concerned ministry, institution, 
technical entity and DP are invaluable to achieve the vision and goal. The ministry has been committed to partnership with a small corporation using existing government DP coordination structure and approaches. Excellency Chairman, all members of the conference, I would like to thank FO for the excellent partnership and collaboration with MAP to further strengthen this partnership and cooperation between the Ministry and FO, the Royal Government of Cambodia through the Ministry has allocated a location for the FO representation with the office construction to start soon. Finally, I hope this conference will enhance more commitment, stronger international cooperation, and we will be united more than our to fight the COVID-19, hunger, climate change, and poverty. Thank you so much for your kind attention.